Hi, it's Librarian Ryan, and I thought we could have some fun together playing around with Hoopla. I'm sure many of you already use Hoopla, but I feel like it's a good time to maybe show you some things about it you don't know, especially the immense amount of search options that are available through Hoopla. I've had a great time with it over the last couple of months, and I'm sure you will too. I will first say that uh, typically it's easier to access Hoopla from our webpage, northbrunswicklibrary.org, but my screen Castify is, as usual, behaving poorly, so here I am at hooplodigital.com. There are instructions on how to access Hoopla from our website. Go to services, upper right-hand corner, my e-library. It'll bring you down to Hoopla. Also instructions on how to download the Hoopla app, which makes things extremely easy as far as accessing your Hoopla account from your device, whether that be phone, tablet, even your laptop or a desktop. All right, so here we are at the home page. If you already have an account, just type in your email and password. If you don't, you'll go here, get started, plug in an email, create a password. You will need to know your library card number, long number on the back of your library card, starting with 29302, and you'll have to know your PIN number as well, four-digit PIN number. If you don't know your PIN number, uh, remember that on our library's homepage, we do offer a PIN retrieval uh, process. You just have to fill out a brief application and we will email you your PIN number. All right, so here we are at Hoopla. Let's scroll down to the bottom of the page. Two more things to remember about Hoopla, actually three. Uh, Hoopla allows five checkouts per month, and that includes movies, TV, uh, music, and the audiobooks. You have unlimited viewing with whatever you have checked out. If you wanted to watch Child's Play three times in a row, have at it. It's there for a total of, uh, let's see, three days, I believe. Yeah, three days of the movies. Uh, songs or albums are available seven days, and e-audiobooks you have for 21 days. Uh, same with ebooks. Your Anything you have borrowed will be automatically removed from your account once the time is up, so you don't have to worry about returning. Let's break into, into Hoopla here. All right, browse titles. Let's just bring us to the main search page. Uh, you'll see up top there's a search bar. If you know what you're looking for, you can always just type it right in. There are a series of categories in this drop down menu for formats. Audiobooks, movies, music, comics, ebooks, television. You can also search by an author or, say, an actor. Uh, you can also search categories, publishers, into series books. You can search by series title. This is a general browse, which will bring us to a different page, which I'll show you in a minute. Generally browse audiobooks, movies, music, comics, ebooks, television. Here we are at the audiobooks page. You see there are three categories here to the left featured. Usually new releases are here particular uh, thematic features that Hoopla would like to uh, promote for the month. Popular, most borrowed, obviously, and categories, which is really incredible and fascinating to look at. Top categories change every month, and all categories are pretty much the same. Uh, they will add them sometimes, uh, usually throughout the year. I think there's something like 100, let's see, I'll look at my cheat sheet. 100,000 titles with new selections are added weekly. Sounds about right. Uh, <laughs> really incredible. But you'll see if we wanted to look at mystery, for example, mystery audiobooks, bring us here, and we can begin to browse. There are 9,764 mystery audiobooks. But if you wanted to specify more with uh, formats, say uh, release dates, that's sometimes very helpful. See when something was. Uh, released or and then also you can look at date added, uh, which is also extremely helpful. If you want to look at the most recent audiobooks added, look toward the last seven days. Borrowing is, is is very simple. You'll click on the item you're interested in, click borrow, and you can of course read the descriptions. You can get some more information about the author. I'm going to get cut off again. Just a beginning uh, kind of video into Hoopla. It is a incredible resource. I hope you use it and stay well. Have a good weekend.